good evening hello hello good evening all right welcome welcome this is intermediate five right is that correct Okay. I see a message on the chat. Thank you, thank you for reporting. Welcome. Well, I know it's a bit surprising. I'm substituting this class. Okay, my name is Blanca Portillo. So I'm going to be covering this class. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So welcome. I see Wendy, Carlos, Jorge, Juan Carlos, Maria Concepcion. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I I say I confuse. I know you were like another class. <laughs> no, you're correct. Don't worry. Okay. This is this is your class. Yes, I'm a new teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Mr. Vela. That's an interesting last name. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Nice to, you. nice to meet you. How many people do we have in the class? Around 20, maybe. Okay, around 20. That's nice. So this is Miss um, Nati Flores class, wasn't it? Nati Long ago. Yes. I don't know. You don't know. Okay. No. <laughs> All right. That name doesn't sound doesn't sound familiar. <laughs> okay, no problem. It's all right. But as long as we are in the right class on the right group, it's all right. So I'm gonna be covering I understand you finish this course tomorrow, right? So you're yes. missing two more classes only. Yes? Yes. That's right. Okay. Nice. Well, I'm going to get started. Let me just share my screen. I'm afraid this is the right screen. Yes, this is. Yes, okay. So this is our session 24 out of 25. I understand, right? Yes. All right. So today is Tuesday, October 11th. Because of the class cancellation yesterday, we were supposed to have classes yesterday and today. <laughs> because of the classes were canceled, so we're having classes today and maybe tomorrow. Yes, okay. I'm pretty sure of that. Okay, so let me introduce myself. This is me. I'm Blanca Portillo. I got all this uh, status, so my bachelor degree in English. I've been teaching English for so many years. <laughs> That's the only job I've done my whole life. Probably I've done other things, but just for fun, just for hobbies. And yes, I graduated from Tecnologica University. I've been at a program sponsored by the Embassy of the United States. I was in North and South Carolina. Okay, I uh, got lots of experience, different programs. We got this uh, certification from ISO4 as well. So the longest experience probably in the program is the program Empresarial Superata, which is the last program I've been working for. So this is a little bit about my working experience. All right, I live here in San Salvador, probably the place where I have lived the longest as well. Ever since I started university, I come from Ilovasco, so I lived in San Salvador probably half of my life or a little bit longer. Okay, <laughs> so I made a career in teaching here in San Salvador. So since I studied the career at the university, I learned English. I developed this uh, passion for the language and for teaching. So. I got lots of experiences, as I was mentioning, so this is me. And it's a pleasure to be here to be covering this class tonight. 
So I hope we can take advantage of the time. We can practice a lot and that would be it. If you have any question, don't worry. You can ask, raise your hand, interrupt, or just say, teacher, what's that? Or how do you say that? Or what's the meaning of it, okay? Or I have a question, anything, okay? Or if you want to know a little bit about me, it's all right, you can also ask questions, okay? So the most you ask, the best, so that we can interact a lot more. So I have more participants now, and that's great. And we're going to start just briefly introduce yourself. Tell me how you feel, how the experience of studying English has been for you, how you have, you know, kept through this program, how you managed to stay in classes at this time because it's really hard. I know it's a very hard schedule but anything you want to share with me okay it would be great so we're gonna get started with jorge humberto vela because you're the first one on top of the list okay hello teacher my name is jorge vela i'm a civil, civil engineer i'm one to overcome the the, the, the fear <laughs> the paradigm all right paradigm or something like that to be uh bilingual or bilingual bilingual, bilingual. Yeah. i want to learn learn english i want to i want to be able to speak with other people mm -hmm. and get uh, new opportunities in my job mm -hmm. to 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 learn more to learn more that's great like, so what is the paradigm uh understand and then speak <laughs> so you think a paradigm means that somebody from a, an engineering cannot learn and speak uh maybe i said that because i want to learn from many years ago, but uh, you have hard. tried many times before. It's it's hard because you have to to make some time to dedicate learn, time. Yes. Study. And right now, uh, it's tired. The the schedule is so so hard, and being from eight to ten is is difficult it requires for, a lot of effort definitely yes i, I yes. consider the most of the the partners of the classmate uh, is sometimes we are maybe sleeping because the it's, because it's of the hard. time because of the day that you have had the work that you have done yes there's not more energy, but my recommendation is, yes, bring your cup of coffee, bring your cup of tea, your cup of milk or whatever you want to be drinking. It's all right. <laughs> all right. right yes. Now, okay. Water. <laughs> all right. So that you wake up. All right. Thank you, Mr. Vela. It sounds really interesting. Okay. Thank you for sharing. And the next person on the list is Carlos Antonio Escobar. No audio. No audio from Carlos Antonio. Mr. Escobar at one, at two, at three. <laughs> Cristina, we give the opportunity to somebody else. Um, good evening. Hi, good evening. Yes, um, nice to meet you, Miss. Uh, my name is Cristia. Oh, sorry. I say Christina, right? My bad. Yes. Christia, yes, I'm sorry. Yes, no worries. Uh, my name is Christia, and um, about me, I'm a production planner in Ironman. Uh, I, I am 30 years old, and about my 
ah, oh, I don't know what your experience what all you. this time studying. <laughs> um, okay, about the English, I I really want to improve uh, some skills. Well, all my skills. I, I want to to talk uh, better. I want to understand. I want to uh, improve my listening and and I don't know my my. I want to I want to improve all my skills. Sure. All right. <laughs> yes. Nice. Yeah. So you work at Aeroman like every day you go to the airport? Uh yes. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a long trip. Yes, it's very tired. It's very tired for me because uh, the schedule of the English class is very uh, for me it's very tired. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, yeah. really after a long right journey, now. right. Yeah. What's your schedule yeah. like at work? Um, at six a.m. to four. You have to be there at six. Yes. So in order so to be there, I at wake six, up you have to at wake up four at four o'clock. Yes. Yes. Oh my god! So and you have you, transportation, you... or you commute by yourself? No, we have transportation because if I got with if my car, it's more <laughs> tired for me. Yeah. Definitely, you wouldn't be able to sleep while you drive. Yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yes. Oh, wow. That's really, really interesting. Okay. Yes. That's a big commitment for learning. Definitely. Okay. But I want to be better, a better person. <laughs> yeah, you'll get it. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you for sharing. Wow, what a wonderful experience. Sorry, I didn't listen because I have issues with my internet. It's all right, it's all right. Thank you for sharing. The teacher is frozen. I am frozen. Ah, <laughs> okay, can you hear me now? Hi. Hello. By the way, intermedia, how many uh, modules there are? Hey, I Do think six. 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 And the last one. Mm -hmm. the, yes. the last one. <laughs> yeah, we miss one too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, can you hear me? I don't know if the teacher is frozen again. Hello. Um, all right, one second. Can you hear me? I didn't see the <laughs> Because of the rain. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Give me one second. I'm trying to disconnect something here in my house. Hold on. Okay. Okay, okay no problem. Um, uh, no bad. Just for Monday, I have a problem with the route. I have to change the route. All right. Sorry about the interruption. No worries. Oh, my internet, you know, never fail. But today that I'm substituting, it failed. Ah. <laughs> okay, that <laughs> are nervous. Probably <laughs> after the rain, probably it's not really stable because it really rained yesterday. Yeah, it's a lot. Horribly, horribly. All right. So I like to keep meeting. Yes, the participants in this class. I have met Mr. Bella and Christian. Christian. Yeah. Oh my God, that's a Christian. really interesting name. <laughs> okay. So the next one would be Diana, with an interesting last name as well. Sorry, teacher. How do you pronounce your last name? Cheregino. Cheregino. My God, and what is that from? Italian. I bet. It's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I'm learning Italian. It sounds like Italian because yeah, of the combination the of the G-H-I-N-O-N. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. Tell me. Okay. Um, nice to meet you, teacher. Oh, My name you. is Diana Cherguino. I am a psychologist. I work on web health. It's a call center. Um, I work in career path. I help people to grow on the company. And about English, I studied English so many years ago, I think five years ago at CENIUES, and I also went to Prolingua. Um, I decided to start again because uh, like Christian, I want to improve in all the, the skills of English, uh, specifically on the fluency because I get really nervous when I have to, to speak and I tend to mix the, the tense. Uh, the, no, the, los tiempos? <laughs> yes, the tenses. Oh, okay, the tenses and only that. All right, but you do work at a call center in English. Yes, but I work in Spanish. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but so they I, have I, both. I, I'm doing the certificate. I'm I'm also studied because of that, because I can certificate to be bilingual. All right. Then you can get an account in English. Yes. All right. Nice. Thank you for sharing. What about Jorge? Um, no, that's the first person. I'm sorry. Yes. Jose Jonathan says here. Not here. Juan Carlos or Carlos Antonio, whoever is able to. None of them. Okay, Juan de Dios. Neither. Manuel Antonio. Sorry. Juan oh, Juan de Dios, you are here. Juan de yeah. Dios, Javier Mejia. Yes. Uh... Hello everybody. Uh, good evening. Good evening. I am Juan de Dios. Uh, I'm an industrial engineer. I'm working as production manager in San Salvador. Uh, I I need to improve my English because uh, I think uh, with uh, abilities we can apply for another job. We can improve our second language. And we, and we need to speak as a native speaker mm -hmm. with other people. And in the future, I expect to travel to United States, for example, and not, and I want to uh, talk very fluent. All right, thank you. Wow, this group has very interesting names and very interesting participations as well. Thank you. <laughs> okay, next, Manuel Antonio Palma. I see Mr. Palma, another interesting last name. Your mic, your microphone. All right, sorry. Thank you, teacher. All right. Nice to meet you. Nice uh, meeting you. My name is Manuel Antonio. Uh, I am studying English because uh, I like it and I I, I would like to uh, to grow in my in my company. Mm -hmm. and, and I know uh, this is uh, uh, the best way to uh, to have a, a new experience and, mm -hmm. and also uh, I like to meet a new new people a new person mm -hmm. and um, I work uh, for the El Salvador it's an uh, uh, company for a professional service, mm -hmm. audit, mm -hmm. audit and taxes. 
Mm -hmm. And I am um, uh, I I am in charge for the uh, the what do you say messageria? <laughs> Message messenger, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, messenger area, mm -hmm. and I I hope to improve. Nice, yeah. wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Palma. Okay, Maria Concepcion. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, my name is Maria Concepcion. I work in Laboratorio Suizos. A few months ago, uh, ago I was promoted to the purchasing area. Mm -hmm. Um, I started in West from Monday to Friday, um, Excel on Saturdays. Oh my, God. my favorite holiday is, is soccer, mm -hmm. but I don't have time to play it anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. How about your experience learning English? All right. Maria Elena. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Uh, introduce myself. Yes. Um, my name is Maria Elena Peñate. I am a nutritionist and work in Maybe you can turn off the camera, Maria Elena. It's very nice of you to turn it on, but probably that's why we cannot listen to you. Okay, excuse yeah. me. It's all right. It's all I am right. um, I am working on NGO, an NGO, uh, and development projects mm -hmm. in community, mm -hmm. San Vicente. Oh wow. Uh, and a pastepeque, a pastepeque, a vera paz, Guadalupe. Yes. The beautiful <laughs> towns from San Vicente. Yes. <laughs> really and beautiful, but when it rains, after this rain, it's terrible. No, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I remember vera paz. Once it was underground after the landslide from the volcano. Yes. In 2007, I guess, around. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Um, and in, in my work, and my, I don't know, how do you say, my English mm -hmm. uh, must be intermediate. Must be and intermediate, all right. Must be intermediate. Mm -hmm. And I am studying English in, I don't know, how do you say bachillerato? In high school. In high school. I am studying English in high school. <laughs> Only <laughs> and for this. I am uh, need study uh, yeah. a little English. Yes. Oh, wow. That's a very nice experience as well. Keep it up. You can do it. Okay, Mario Villeda. Mr. Villeda, can we have your participation? Good evening. Okay, good evening. Well, um, I'm Mr. Villeda, I'm 35 years old. We work for Claro, like, like a supervisor of agency. Mm -hmm. uh, Accident, accident. Okay. Yeah. I want to improve my life. All right. Thank you. Thank you for introducing yourself, Mr. Nelson Gavarrete Merino. Good evening. My name is Nelson Gavarrete. I work at the SLA Technology. As a, uh, as a a courier and collection the agent mm -hmm. and motorcycle. 
I live in the city of Opa. Mm -hmm. uh, in my free in my free time is a little and I play a, a piano. Oh, you like to play the piano? Yes. Nice. Wonderful, Mr. Cabarrete, another interesting last name. As I said, all the last names are interesting in this class. Okay, <laughs> either the last name or the first names. All right, thank you. How about yeah. Norma? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My name, my name is Norma Villanueva. I'm from business administrator. I work in a furniture store for 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, I um, want to learn English uh, for obtaining a better job. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. What about Olga? Good evening, everyone. Nice to meet you, teacher. Thank you. Likewise. My name is Olga Gomes. I work in a non-profit organization, mm -hmm. it's UNES. I work on Monday to Saturday, the middle day, and I live in Cologne. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to learn English because I consider it so important to my knowledge and it's a plus for me. Definitely. All right, that. thank you. What's the organization that you work for? Is UNES. What does that mean? Unidad, Unidad Ecológica Salvadoreña. Nice. So you, you are in charge of creating projects to protect the environment? Yes. Oh, wow. That's really awesome. All right. Thank you. What about we got Sylvia and Wendy? Two more. Um, Sylvia or me? Either. You go. Sylvia, <laughs> maybe do it later. <laughs> me? Yes. Okay. Okay, my, bueno. <laughs> good evening, everybody. Good evening, and, and nice to meet you. Likewise, okay. thank you. Uh, my name is Wendy Zabaleta. I live in Santa Ana. I am four, one year old. I work, um, I am business administration. I study, mm -hmm. study <laughs> business administration, and, and I work in a travel agent. Mm -hmm. Its name is Genesis Travel. Genesis right. Travel. I need to learn English for my job because I make forms for American Visa mm -hmm. or English. And, um, and, my, and I wish I wish be tra translator for the church, for oh, my right. church, for missionary. Missionaries? Mm -hmm. Missionaries, yes. Missionaries. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice, that. good. That's a really interesting objective in life. <laughs> okay. What about Sylvia? Is still there, Sylvia? Hi. Right, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Sylvia. I am a lawyer, and my um. I, I want to learn English to, uh, I want to learn to speak English because this is my desire uh, from uh, child. Uh, yeah, from childhood. From child. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. and, and I want this to visit other country mm -hmm. uh, with this language. And I want to speak very good. <laughs> nice. What countries would you like to visit? Um, first, uh, United States, mm -hmm. because my mother Lives is there. here. Mm -hmm. 
and then any other country. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Actually, yes. It's very, very crucial to speak English because no matter what country you go, you will find somebody who speaks English at least. Even if you're not able to speak Chinese or in Indo or German or any other language, but somebody will speak English. So English is definitely the global business language. All right. Is anybody else able to participate or somebody else that we didn't listen to wants to introduce him or herself? We are all ears. Uh -huh. Somebody who didn't have the opportunity while I was naming? Mm -hmm. No. We're done. We met everybody. Yes? Okay. <laughs> All right. Questions. Do you have questions? No questions for me. I have a question, teacher. Tell me. How many models there are in Intermedia? Yeah, I understand there are six. Six. Yes. Have you been in, in all these modules? I okay. start in the Intermedia 2. You, you started in Intermediate 2. So you've been for three modules so far, and you're missing yes. one more. Okay. Are you planning to do all of them? I want to, con to, to continue. continue. Yes, sure. Why not? I, it's a great goal. Yes. Yes, I of course. Okay. Any other questions? So far, so good? It's freeze, teacher. <laughs> All right. So, yo se volvió congelada. I think the teacher is freeze. Se volvió congelada. It's freeze. Oh, my God. Here. Can you hear me? Right yes. now, yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, oh this internet connection is terrible tonight. I don't get it. Maybe it's because Julia storm. Uh huh. This is storm. <laughs> What's terrible? Ner nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. For but... group. <laughs> yes, but whatever, whatever, whatever happens with my internet connection, you keep going, okay? So don't hesitate. All right. Otra vez. We lost her. Hello, teacher. Hi, give me one second. Just one second, please. Thank you, teacher. Eh, ya vi que sí. <laughs> ya mandaron. Sí, ahora lo mandaron. Ah, pues okay. por eso vi. Correo, creo que no me han mandado. Pero mandaron las dos cosas. Yo solo el WhatsApp he visto. ¿Verdad? Es que como que no han mandado correo. Y a mí me interesa tener en los dos. Porque es más fácil. 
Pero voy a tal vez en el COVID y la en el spam porque a mí sí me mandaron por eso lo chingar. Ah, en el spam pues. Por eso sentó, dale. How about now? Yes, teacher. Much better. Yes. Okay. All right. We're going to keep going. Hopefully this time it's better. Okay. So these are the generalities of the course, you know, that we must be in class all the time. The attendance and the attendance that must be taken three times during the class. So I'm going to take the attendance right now. <laughs> and you have a session one on one with somebody as well. So let me see the attendance. What about the attendance for tonight? Let's see. We go on attendance. Okay. Let me see, let me see. Okay. My goodness. Some of my neighbors are really noisy, okay? So I excuse myself for that. All right. <laughs> Don't worry. Noisy, noisy. Noisy neighbors, noisy dogs sometimes. Okay. <laughs> yes, even though I have a I have a dog, my dog is really quiet compared to others. All right. So sorry to hear that. I know. Okay, so today is Tuesday, right? Day eleven. Is that right? Okay. Yes. Ana Raquel. Not here. Okay. Carlos Antonio. Present. Okay. Claudia Maria. Second teacher. Hi. Diana Elizabeth. I don't want to make a mistake. Present teacher. <laughs> Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Jonathan. Present miss. Hi. Jose Rodrigo. Not here. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Hi. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda. Manuel Antonio. Present. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present. Mario Ernesto. Nelson Gabarrete. Present teacher. All right. Present teacher. Ah, hi, thank you. <laughs> All right. Norma. Present teacher. Olga. Present teacher. Silvia. Silvia. Present teacher. Hi. Tatiana. Present. All right. Wendy. Present teacher. And Christian. Present. I did it right. <laughs> I did it correct. All right. Okay, great. Thank you for your attendance. Oh, wow. Do you remember the topic? When was the last class? Last Friday, right? Do you remember the topic for the unit four? Can you write it down on the chat? What was the last topic that you remember? Escríbalo en el chat. Write it on the chat. Whatever you remember. Mm -hmm.
whatever the conversation was about, Pro whatever pronouns. the topic, pronouns. Uh -huh. I remember pronouns. Okay, what else? That there are many pronouns. There are many pronouns. The question tags. The tag questions. Uh -huh. What else? Pueden escribir en el chat. Escriban cualquier cosa que se recuerden. The vocabulary, the conversation, the structure, the topics, whatever. Pero escriban algo en el chat. Vamos a ver. Si hay 19, well, 18 students, 18 participants, deben haber 18 comments en el chat. Whatever you remember. Aunque sea el nombre de la unidad. But write something. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Vemos ese chat. Let's use the chat. Vamos a ver el primer, el primer comment va a tener premio. A ver qué es el más. <laughs> oh, tag question. <laughs> okay. All right. That was fast. Okay. Uh-huh. Tag questions, tag questions. Okay, you still have the manual and I don't see the tag questions. <laughs> Maybe más atrás. <laughs> A lot, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pronouns, yeah, I'll hang out those pronouns. Exactly. I, I remember a question about the how the virtual reality uh -huh. changed change the e-commerce or all right um, how virtual reality changes commerce or e-commerce. Ya encontré la sad question, sí, no estaba no no estaba inventando. Don't worry. <laughs> but that was unit three. Yes, that questions were in unit three. That's right. Mm -hmm. They're in unit four. What else? What else? Ya debieron haber tenido like two or three classes with the unit four. O no han iniciado la unit four para nada. Yes, teacher. We started. Yes. Hasta qué página del manual vieron de la unit four? En teoría deberíamos estar en... Ajá, pero primero díganme ustedes. What page? 37, eh, teacher. 37. All right. 36, ¿ya lo vieron? Yes. Really? Yes. 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 Okay, 36. So you started the use of the, of the article, the. The article. Ajá. All right. Okay, interesting. That's right. Okay, cool. I like it. Hmm. Let's keep going then. So at the end of this session, participants will be able to learn vocabulary related to the influence of technology in e-commerce and express their own ideas. So that's basically what we're going to do. So what do you know about e-commerce and describe a specific influences okay, of technology in the e-commerce? Right now, it's not something new. It's not something that you say, in the future, we're going to be able to buy through the cell phone or through the tablet or on the internet or using technology. We do e-commerce now. We are shopping online. We are ordering food online. We are using apps to do a lot of commerce, aren't we? Yes, we yes. are, right? So this is what we're going to be discussing. And of course, this is the question. I mean, this is the conversation that you already practice, as you said before, right? OK, so I'll go to the previous one. Hold on, OK? And you have some questions as well. It says, describe a specific influence of technology in the e-commerce customer experience of the future. As I said, it's not the future, it's the present now, okay? Do you think the development of virtual reality will play an important role in the future for e-commerce? Probably not only for e-commerce. What about for learning? 
What about for studying? What about for career development? As we are studying right now. If we didn't have technology, we wouldn't be able to be in this video conference class, right? So this is what we're gonna be discussing, okay? We're gonna make a small groups and you're going to discuss the influence of technology and e-commerce and your experience, okay? If you ever order anything online and if you already have the apps or how many apps do you use? Or what's the purpose of e-commerce, okay? What's the experience that you have had with e-commerce? You can use these two brands that describe the influence of technology in e-commerce. What is e-commerce? What do you know about e-commerce first? You describe, you discuss with your partner, and then you talk about the development of virtual reality, how this reality, this virtual reality, you know, play an important role in the e-commerce, not in the future, but in the present, okay? Who wants to tell me what you're going to talk about? Mm -hmm. ¿De qué es lo que vamos a hablar? In the breakout rooms. ¿Alguien me quiere resumir? Si vamos al breakout room y todos nos quedamos quiet, no va a tener sentido, so tell me. About the e-commerce? <laughs> and what do we think about them and how do we use it exactly okay what do you think about it how do you use it and what do you know as well right because sometimes we might be assuming that everybody is into e-commerce already that everybody's using it that everybody's able to but probably there might be some people who don't use it yet or haven't used it yet right so that's what you're going to be discussing all right so let's make about yes we're gonna make about five groups so three or four participants should be in each group okay nobody can stay quiet everybody has to participate all right and if somebody is quiet or probably doesn't have many ideas there might be some other people in the group that can keep asking questions all right yes great because the new teacher is help to the teacher Grecia. I hear okay. that. I, I know I'm not sure. Okay. But about the topic, uh, I think we we talk about that. Okay. Okay. So what do you think about the e-commerce? Uh, hello? What do you think? That because of that. Hi, <laughs> uh, <Hi>, continue. <laughs> okay. And yes, um, that I think that are good, good ways to buy. Like you say, Norma, um, it's easier to buy online than to go into the store. And what do you think, Olga? No. Ooh. 
in my in my in my home in my news uh, I don't know I don't remember neighborhood neighborhood um uh, don't arrive Google oh. <laughs> and, I imagine uh, <laughs> this is dangerous. <laughs> the, the driver, I don't know. The, the driver out uh, within your your uh, motorcycle. <laughs> no vienen. Oh, okay. Is maybe and, possible. And is, the pizza is more slow. And no. I am um, prefer a sick and cold. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, because when 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 you when you use uh, any app for order any product, uh, obviously you you need to buy a uh, through uh, by credit card. The uh, for example, <laughs> uh, I saw many months ago uh, one offered. In, in in Facebook, when when I asked for for more information, uh, firstly, uh, people who who attend me uh, asked me if I uh, I have a credit card. Is the first. Uh, Request, request. If you don't, you, you don't, you don't use or uh, you you don't trust uh, for buy about uh, credit any card. by credit card. Yes, uh, uh, I don't I don't like to use it uh, in, in 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 specific apps or by internet because. Uh, uh, there is, uh, th there are uh, uh, many uh, opportunities to uh, to have uh, 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 issues. Yes, problems. Yes, yes. By um, uh, here is the teacher. I we can we can ask some Help. issues. Tell me, tell me. No, teacher, we, we are talking about the experience about the buy online mm -hmm. and the platform that we we use uh, regularly. All right. I prefer eBay mm -hmm. because I consider it's, it's safe mm -hmm. and I had experience good experience with that platform without problem mm -hmm. and they have delivery like they have shipping on for the other regularly no i i bought and i i i ask for send the the product to okay so the products are delivered to another address in the states Yes, maybe a, uh -huh. from a relative. Uh -huh. and and then... They send me the product. All right, to El Salvador. Yes, or That's I. That's a smart move. <laughs> yes, or there are other, other business uh, delivery. business on delivery. Uh -huh. I, I other delivery that is cheaper. I consider. Then if they do the, the shipping until dollar or or mm -hmm. something like that. So it's if a better you, it's a better price for the, yes, for the shipping. If you if you both choose, for example, mm -hmm. the delivery could be six six dollars. Yes, nice. All right. So that's that's mostly the the e-commerce you have made from the states. Uh, what about internal? Internal. Mm -hmm. um, No internal, I don't. <laughs> you don't do any any online shopping, any no. e-commerce. What about the marketplace? Marketplace, uh, 
Yes, but maybe I use the, that platform just for compare prices. <laughs> compare prices and, All right. and then maybe I have to make some phone calls to the people to, to, to look for the best option. All right, nice. Yeah, definitely. That is also shopping. That is hunting for the best price <laughs> or price hunting. That's great. Yes. All right. What about during That's the pandemic? It. Did you do a lot of shopping online because of the of the stores that were closed? I was talking with Jorge that I buy regularly in Super Selectos app in Walmart also because it saved me my time. <laughs> so this is very important for me. Yeah, some people do that. Uh -huh. In order to save time, yes. Maybe yes. when you're really busy and you just want to go and pick up the groceries, probably you can do the, the <laughs> grocery shopping online. That's right. Okay. And nowadays we are very, are very oh, such a much much uh, business they they buy for you mm -hmm. and they to your home yeah and they bring the the groceries home that's right okay good thank you for sharing your experiences okay say time sounds good claudia Hey, welcome back. Some people are still pending to return, so we're gonna wait. Okay. All right. <laughs> How was the talk? Hello, teacher. Hi. It was very interesting. It was quite interesting. Yes. Yes, I have. I, I'm thinking to to buy online for the super selector maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Now a lot, a lot of. Uh, business in our country have a web page or an app and you can definitely do the shopping online it yeah. saves time yeah sometimes because yeah. mainly when the the stores are on a big demand yeah and Ouch. they deliver it to your house for sometimes for a very little amount of extra you know, actually, extra amount of money. Mm -hmm. Actually, in the pandemic time, I learned to 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 pay my bills online. <laughs> true, and, true. And I, actually, right now I I do in that in that way mm -hmm. because I exactly. I or don't have to waste my time. I do the same thing. I use the bank apps in order to pay the bills. So yeah. I don't have to go to the, each of the places and make the lines, right? And there's also another alternative, but now you can go to only one place, either a, uh, even a gas station, I think, or a pharmacy, and mm -hmm. they and they can, I mean, charge for all the services, bills, electricity, water, telephone. So they have all this other strategy as well. I, I prefer not to pay in the gas station with the credit card because I heard before mm -hmm. sometimes they can take a picture of your credit card and they can 
try to to buy something really yes <laughs> i have done it many times and i find I it deft ah <laughs> actually ma uh, to manuel to manuel happened that really <gasps> wow that was a very bad experience i suppose manuel teacher uh, i think uh, uh, right now many companies uh, have a web page mm -hmm. uh, and they have a uh, uh, own apps mm -hmm. Uh, is 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 uh, faster mm -hmm. to for the consumers uh, to visit uh, the web page, the website. Uh, yes, it uh -huh. is uh, yes. The online store. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It is uh, um, straight to. To the products, mm -hmm. you don't need to to enter for uh, the page. You you go to the go <laughs> straight to the go. Right, so you don't have to be driving, looking for a parking spot, <laughs> walking, fighting with Teacher, people. Parking. Teacher, this is the parking problem because. Uh, 15 minutes uh, is free. Then you have to pay two quarters. The more, the more you need to pay. True. 50, and you know, it's, in, it's incredible. Everywhere now you have to pay for a parking space. Everywhere. Every yes. Not only malls. I was impressed the other day. I went to Sertras and you have to pay for the parking really? lot. Ex imagine. Yes, I have a very bad experience in Sertran <laughs> because I didn't have coins. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I was really impressed because, I mean, how am I supposed to go to renovar my permit to drive? And if I don't have a car, I need to have a car to renew my of permit so yes. I was like, yeah. do I have to pay? They say, yes, you have to pay. <laughs> And I just went, pay in the bank and got my, my new card. And I was like, my God. So now you're going to pay even in your house. No, well, in your house you sometimes pay. Pero, no, no me recuerdo este, este idioma, pero dice, la gota que derramó el vaso es que hasta los bancos tienen... Tienen un asocio con ellos que usted quiere le pueden descontar your credit card. It's true, it's true, and they keep calling me. They keep yeah. calling me, and they are selling a sticker that if sí. you have that sticker, they already discount every time yeah. you go to the mall. Yes. This is incredible. Yes. This is incredible. Life now in El Salvador is super expensive. So expensive. Everything is so expensive, except the salaries. <laughs> With uh, uh, friends in, in, we jump in a um, restaurant and pay $10 for a parking because we don't, we don't know uh, before three hours, uh, they after three hours they charge they charge that also that also for has extra one, hour one hour one dollar for extra hour extra hour and we stay in the restaurant um i don't know i don't remember six hours like six hour. hours all the uh, all the afternoon <laughs> You were working on the restaurant. <laughs> working, working. Yes, exactly. Working some, people, some people go to do that. <laughs> Something similar happens to me, but I pay $5 at El Paseo. That is, that is a shopping mall, El Paseo. 
I didn't know that after some hours you have to pay five dollars. And I was like, oh my. And I went to work because I, I had to see a friend. I took the computer and I was working. And then when I went to pay, they said five dollars. I was like, what? Imagine. <laughs> yes, because now you do a lot of online work too. So sometimes working in the house on the computer like twenty four seven is kind of boring. So I saw a friend of mine and, and we were working there and I was like, five dollars. I didn't know. It's a bad idea. In cascadas, it's expensive <laughs> as well. They they charge you two dollars per hour. What? In Las Cascadas? Yes, in Las Cascadas. Really? Two yeah. dollars per hour? Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> no, I visit the La Cascada um, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of days, and, and I think 50 uh, cents is per hour. Yeah, me too. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> the, the last time I went, mm -hmm. there are some places where you go that you can mark uh, mm -hmm. the car. Mm -hmm. yes. But if you don't mark, uh, they they charge you two dollars because I went to a, a capacitation a over training. there a training <laughs> and that's that's how much they were charging. Okay, now I remember another very expensive place. It's Torre Avante in Santa Elena. Also, we went for a training and they charged five dollars. I Why went to Torre Avante. Why? Because they say that's the parking. I was like, what? It's very expensive. Dollars, and I have paid for the for the training like fifty dollars. Imagine. Teacher, I know, I know. In this in this parking is one dollar per hour because I I I working in this in this. Uh, uh, but yeah, if if you if you stay in a training the whole day. Oh, the whole day. You're, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> they say five dollars. I was like, ya no voy a esa training at the end. And then they told me, ah, pues ya que en cualquier área fuera. I was like, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's really expensive. Yes. It's too expensive. Mm -hmm. I think we should uh, fight against these illegal prices because parking should be free everywhere. But anyways, all right, you have mentioned that you already started this conversation with the previous class, right? Yes. Okay, so it says, Jose and Tito, hey, have you been to the new store in town to the, the, the it's the article that we are emphasizing here, right? Oh, yes, it's awesome. The minute reality tour. Okay, there's a type of mistake here, I guess. Reality, our augmented reality tour that the staff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musician's pictures and streaming from the latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional codes for the free album download. So that was just like part of the conversation. Okay, check the technology technology sorry that you believe you will have an important role in improving customers experience in retail stores then discuss the question below how fast is technology being implemented in retail stores from your country did you discuss these questions before yes, yes teacher. okay mm -hmm. so anybody would like to report to me what you said about this question how fast is technology being implemented in retail stores from our country i i i told an example for for this question mm -hmm. and i said that in mcdonald i well we can find an an a new a new method of pay your oh. your order or mm -hmm. your make your order you 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 find a uh, a screen, I don't mm -hmm. know, and it's you, can, and you yeah. can select what do you want to to eat, and you select the paid of me the middle of of what you want you you pay, mm -hmm. and 
And for me, this is. And I remember, I remember once, yeah, once or twice, I tried. I mean, you select from the menu, you choose what you want to eat, what you want to order, and the myth, and the method how you want to pay. But if you want to pay cash, then you put the cash in there, or you go to the counter and pay with the cash. You go uh, with the counter. Mm. Yes. So they don't have like this, uh, like the ATM where you deposit the cash. No, you oh, get a ticket <laughs> when you go to the counter. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, because I saw if you want to pay with a with a credit or a debit card, yes, you do have the options, right? Or even yes. with bitcoins, right? Yes. Yes, Yell, you can use the Bitcoin, yes. True. Yes, what about the other restaurants and the menus? Now that they, I mean, you can you perfectly scan the menu. menu, right? So you can go a link and go and check the menu on your cell phone or in any of your devices. True. What else? Teacher, for example, mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned uh, one app uh, about food. Mm -hmm. uh, I can mention it. Uh, you go. You go. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You go up. Uh, have uh, many restaurants uh, with a uh, 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 it's associated uh, with uh, you. Uh, you find uh, many restaurants and the menu. For each, of each restaurant. restaurant, right? For each restaurant, mm -hmm. it's a fast. Uh, it's a fast to to order. You mark the 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 specific food, mm -hmm. and you. It, it, this is uh, the, the the best part because mm -hmm. you you can pay by credit card or by cash. You can pay cash home. when when the person delivers the food. Yes, really. Yes. The two option. The two option. Yes. I didn't know that. Actually, I don't. Yes. I, yeah, I have heard a lot about that mm -hmm. app about Google, but I, I I don't have it yet. I haven't downloaded. I don't. Yeah, I don't usually order online. But if I if I do need to order online, I also have the other one, the red one, the pedidos ya. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, it's a very yes. similar one, right? Yes. And you can not only order uh, food, but also you can um, order from the market, from the supermarket as well. I never use. I never use it. You have never used it. Yes. Yeah, I think you can. You can uh, order from the supermarket or from the market, and they go get it. Because the and supermarket. <laughs> Is near to my house. Ah, you, <laughs> go, you just one walk. Block, one block. <laughs> ah, nice. So just you don't have the necessity. One block, yes. Yeah. Yes, true. Yes, let's see. It's a, it's a big uh, supermarket. supermarket. Yes, yeah, it's, big, it's very big. convenient for you. Yes. Yes. Let's see. Yeah, they say restaurants, cafes. Like if you want desserts or bread, markets. Oh, you can have envios like delivery as well. And you can have pharmacies and drinks and stores. And oh, you Sounds can even good. have pets, you know, veterinarians too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I, I consider in the First question, how fast is technology being implemented? Mm -hmm. In our country, I consider it so slowly because in El Salvador, there are many issues to solve before that we are thinking in, in a lot of technologies. Uh, maybe the apps could be easier than but not not like other countries they use mm -hmm. yeah do you think it's not that fast in other countries it's faster yeah there yes. are yeah as you mentioned there are so many issues technology maybe until now many people many more people had um, smartphones or computers right 
because of the government <laughs> donating computers to the children going to school. But before, no, I mean, not many people had access to a computer or to a, a smartphone, right? Not even internet, right? So true, true. Because of the pandemic, many things were implemented faster. But before the pandemic, things were like going really, really slowly. That's true. And what about the app for traveling? I, I, I have been using Harper or mm -hmm. let, let me check the, the name of that app is uh, Hopper. Uh -huh. Hopper. Hopper is good. I, I bought uh, two, two months ago, one ticket mm -hmm. to, to Veracruz. Mm -hmm. and that was... It was a good the, deal. I consider, uh, because the time was short to, uh -huh. to choose, uh -huh. I consider it was a good deal. It was a good deal. Right. Mm -hmm. Also for commuting, right? For commuting. So there are some apps already available, like Uber or InDriver. So people also use these apps when they need some sort of transportation. Mm -hmm. Yes. I I never had have used uh, Uber. You haven't? No, I know. You should. <laughs> you should try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. I have. Me I either. have. All right. You haven't either. Okay. That's all right. Well, 3D printing, virtual reality, three body scanner, clothing design. Have you used this one? <laughs> Neither <one. laughs> I don't think I don't yeah. think it's still available here in El Salvador. Yeah, but it's not for a, a test like the the doctor. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's for designing your clothes. Imagine like <laughs> Kardashian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so for the doctors, probably. Yes, they have like it's kind in your body when they want I to have an X-ray. Or... I think uh, resonance magnetica could yeah. be a 3D body. Uh huh. But it's for medical purposes, not for fashion, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right? Yes. Uh huh. Cell service kiosks. Yeah, we do have that in El Salvador, right? Like drive-throughs. Mm -hmm. That probably is not like exactly self service, but self service probably only the vending machines where you want to choose the the drinks or the snacks and you pay and you get the snack. But self service kiosk like serving yourself a cup of coffee or things like that probably only the drive through where you go order but there's still a human serving right the coffee the dessert or the food and augmented reality. Do we have this type of technology available? Uh, some some company, mm -hmm. just, because I was thinking this is a, a play rule, an important rule, because mm -hmm. uh, when you uh, need some products mm -hmm. or some service, uh, they they always these companies always are the one one step ahead. Mm -hmm. Big companies, mm -hmm. for example, uh, companies uh, uh, warehouse. Mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. They 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 have images uh, in augmented reality. In augmented reality, but this is important, right? But because you can see the details or the features yes. that the machine have. True, yes. true. Even even with the small products, because I remember once I bought on Siman online and you can see any product in, in my case it was a radio for for my for my car i needed to to change it and you could see like every feature all the angles of the of the device so i think yes. it's all right mm -hmm. yes it's useful 
Right. Okay. Great. So we use, I mean, <laughs> I bet you already studied this uh, explanation. Hasta aquí no llegaron. Yes, teacher. Yes. You did. Oh, yes. thank God. You already, so you yes, almost you, finished the material. Yes, we already yes. were, uh, were uh, almost ready, working, teacher. Working in, in many, many, a lot of examples. Really? For yes. example, the Cuscatlan Stadium is located in San Salvador. Right. So how many sentences did you write? A, yes. About that. A lot of sentences. <laughs> About that topic, teacher, I, I consider we, it was easy. We saw many many rules about the use of the article. All right. But mm -hmm. I consider is easier if we know about the, the how do you say the exceptions. Mm -hmm. When you don't use the but, article. All right, that's great. Okay, maybe um, one of the exceptions would be when, when you are talking about something countable, like singular, that you use a yes. or n. Yes. Mm -hmm. That would be like the most common one. But it is pretty useful when you are mentioning something for the second time when you already have a previous idea of what you're talking about and in this case when they say the the zero article so that means that you don't have to put an article so mainly those are the ones that are in general or something in general usually it's about people for example and usually they are plural, right? You say people in El Salvador are always kind. So that means that you don't need to use an article, right? Because you're talking about people in general, right? Okay. Um, and the other one is when it's a mass noun, that means that it's something not countable, right? Or it's just an idea, right? So for example, you say education, it's real important. You don't say the education, you just say education is real important. Commerce, business, right? So that is called a zero article. So that means that you don't use it. Okay, so that would be probably the exceptions, right? Okay, well, I thought you had, <laughs> you had to study something, something related to this, but I'm gonna give you some time for you to read. Okay, read as the examples are given here and try to understand, like try to refresh your memory with the examples given. And yeah, you make you you may create some others, okay? So use the information that you have here and read it. Just read it as it is here. So as if you are reading to me, okay, with the ability of explaining with the idea of emphasizing or giving extra examples would be okay all right so i'm gonna share probably yeah we're gonna recreate the rooms we're gonna work with some other people and i'm gonna share this screenshot i bet you already have the manual which is really important but i'm gonna share the screenshot as well on your group all right Teacher. Teacher. Hi. What is the page in the manual? 
the 37. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. All right. ¿Cómo es que se hace para llamar a pedir ayuda? Teacher. Hi. Tell me. Help, hey, please. Uh, you, need, you need your, your, your help. Uh, All right, tell me. Uh, what uh, we are going to. What are we going to do? Read. Yeah. What is the activity? Yes, read the rules again and try to paraphrase, try to say what you understand about each of the rules and try to give some more examples. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. The article. The article. Yes. Okay, teacher. Oh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Entendido. Thank you. Eh... Ah, pues sí, well, ejemplos uh, de cuál es, del indefinido y el, y el definido. Del... Ay, Claudia. Ay. Una regla. Claudia, um, Olga, good evening. Ay, good evening. We are here. Mm. Article is used with pro proper nouns, mass nouns, and plural count, count nouns where the reference is general, not a specific. Diana could be finished. Okay. The consumers are now more tech savvy. Consumers in general, not a specific consumers. The artificial intelligence can enhance the shopping. Mass and now, uh, mass now. That uh, means uh, that you have to you you don't have to use the article. Uh huh. Correct. Uh, the teacher is here. Sorry, teacher. Um, we only have to read the image you sent or what we have to do yes you do have to read the instruction the explanations and try to give your own interpretation and if you could provide some examples for each of the rules again okay, okay. Thank you. all right uh, um, where or where or when we don't use the article. Do you have clear that part? Yes, I think so. <laughs> Maybe when when is in general, you don't have to use. I I remember that when. Hasta in English. Maybe on um, Thursday. Yes. But I don't know if yesterday we lost the class. Maybe we will finish on Friday. Yes, I think. We have. Okay. Okay, it's a finish, it's a morning. What? Let me check the, the screenshot. The term zero article is used to refer to the case when a noun is not preceded by, by an article. A, an, or the, or D. No, article zero article is used with proper nouns, mass nouns, and plural counts, nouns, where the reference is general, not specific. Consumer, we omit D, are no more this save, save. What is the meaning, Christian? Save, save. Save. Do you know? 
Can you remember no more tech savvy? Can you remember? No, I don't know, but we can search. Then that, that physician was impressed, something like that. Okay. When you, you are a substitution of the name. Uh huh. Yes. But that you, you saw that on Friday, right, Jorge? Yes. Yes, I was in an event of my work. <laughs> I did ah, a hear the that. party. Yes, it was <laughs> customers week. <laughs> uh, we we saw you are dancing that day. <laughs> no. Your camera is on. Was on. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, I I put on I put up the camera. Yes, I look fast. I I I have an example. Uh, my grandmother is the oldest of my parents. Mm -hmm. The pilot used his experience to fly. I think we so in English. <laughs> okay. Is is a uh... Admirable. Yes. And different. And, and, and so about this topic, you have a uh, clear the use of the article de or de. Yes. Yes. For example, uh, I have uh, this uh, this sentence using in the uh, in the first of the. We have to take a rest some days before tomorrow. Yes. Until uh, uh... we start the next month. Yeah, I don't know how many time it's going to take to start the Teacher, yes. Tengo, tuve problemas, me sacó de la, del grupo eh, Zoom. Really? Sorry to hear that. It's okay, don't worry. 
Okay. Coming back. Okay. Double checking. Sorry. There's some interference here in my house. Okay, so. All right, double checking. How to use the definite article, the. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. You told me that you already did this. We're just refreshing. Yes, it's all right. Let's have. Uh, okay, Norma. Could you please read the first part? Mm -hmm. Use the flag and noun when the header, the reader, I really have a reference of the noun you are referring to. Use the flag count now to express that the now is specific has a process to generate. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, we use the plus now when the heater or the reader already has a reference. So it's been mentioned before, right? Of the noun that you're referring to. Use the plus the count now to express that the noun is specific as opposed to general, all right? So Nelson, you wanna continue, please? Hello, Okay, augmented reality. Okay. A woman really has the ability to blur the boundaries between the, the physical and digital world. Mm -hmm. The business that is being the battle of a customer service can gain a competitive advantage. Advantage. Yes. Mm -hmm. The ability to offer a service a approach. approach. Approach to consumer is very important. It's very important. Uh huh. Twenty uh, seventeen. Twenty seventeen will be the the pardon the year of the technology in a customer service. Okay, twenty seventeen will be the year of technology in customer service. Imagine that was a very past prediction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, probably it was, right? The year of technology and customer service, okay? Let's continue with one videos, probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. The term zero article is used to refer to the case when a noun is not preceded by an article, a, an, or the. No article zero article is used with proper nouns, mass nouns, and plural count nouns where the re reference is general, not specific. Mm -hmm. And examples, Maria Elena. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, customers are no more each day. Consumers in general, not specific consumers. Mm -hmm. um, artificial intelligence can en enhance can the enhance shop the shopping. Shop. All right, that's the mass now, right? Okay. And did you solve this exercise? Social robots already work in the customer service? No. You didn't do it. All right. Yeah. What do you have to do? No. ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que hacer en este ejercicio? What do we have to do in this exercise? Cross out. We need to cross. Yes. Exactly. Cross out any unnecessary determiner. O sea, en estas oraciones hay unos determiner, o sea, el the, que no debería estar. Está haciendo us unnecessarily used there. O sea, no debería estar. Entonces, ustedes tienen que identificar en qué ocasiones no debería ir y cross out. O sea, tacharlo, ¿verdad? En caso de que lo tengan impresos o de identificarlo, nada más. Veamos, lo pueden discutir con sus partners, cuáles está de más, el the, el article the, y luego lo comparamos share, entre todos. The, yes. the... the screenshot. Yes. Yes, yo se las mando, Please. don't worry. I'll do it. Okay. okay. Sí. Cross out, cross out. No. Teacher, teacher. Hello, tell me. Hello. Uh, in this activity, we are going to cross out is uh, como encerrarlo, un círculo. Cacharlo, marcarlo con una X. Uh, That's cross out. Okay. Uh -huh. Pero no en todas está el artículo determinado. Ajá, solo cuando no debería ser utilizado. O sea, cuando, cuando, debería... Está, cuando está de más. Ajá. Ok, hay que identificarlo, Mario. Exacto. Identificar dónde sí tiene que ir y dónde no tiene que ir. Hay que... Exacto. All right. <laughs> well, Mario, in the sentence number one. Social robot already work in the customer service. No, no puedo. Martín, Swan. Martín, Swan. Martín, Swan. Tengo, tengo. Estoy en el teléfono y el libro lo tengo en, en la compu. No puedo. I'm not sure if it's correct to say of the smartphone revolution. I think yes. But because the smartphone revolution, I mean revolution is like general. It's no like one. Yes, I, I'm not sure, but if you read the next one. Is, yes. It's almost the same because it's general through mobile apps, the retailers. So I that. think uh, and number three, uh, uh, do you see uh, the example? In el, in el recuadro está da, da business. Y aquí en el tres, no, solo está business. No sé si por ahí estará el error. Businesses are taken. No, but businesses are plural, so it's... Yes, pero ahí en el cuadro que leímos, dice, the business is a da 
diamond business plural that it's but similar i don't get it <laughs> you say to we need to add that no but in this exercise we only have to cut i mean we only have to to eliminate i had to eliminate uh-huh when mm -hmm. it doesn't work we don't have to when it's incorrect i, I yes think. But in the, the number four, I think that we can cross out the two then. <laughs> because through mobile apps, retailers send consumers real time information about products and offers. Norma, es que ahí nada más tiene que quitar lo que está. Wow, no hay que poner. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Through mobile apps, the retailer. Is correct. Um, and the number five. And the in the chunk on the in the business. Are you? the business? The big data uh, analytics is changing how the businesses operate the and communicate with operates. customers. Mm, but this is in plural also, but I don't know. It, it's in plural, plural. yes. For me, we will cross. And, and number six is, is different because they continually get it, got it and al analyze the data to improve the experience. And analyze the data to approve the experience. Mm. In the we number can, six, we... We, 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 we can don't. cross the second that. Second that. Social robots are already working the customer service. Y también la uno, no sé, tengo duda. I have to. Social robots already work in customer service. Creo que in, allí, Creo que no va a tampoco. In the cost, no sé, creo que no, no aplica. Pero no podemos tener tres seguidas que no. Será. <ríe> de... Para mí no lleva. Social robots already work. Productos y las ofertas. En las cinco. To be that the big data analysis. Eso ya he escuchado yo que se, que se dice big data. Da. Big data. The big data, no, he escuchado que dice big data. No, no. Es... Sin el primer D. That example is difficult to, to know all the rules. Yes, it is. But in that case, I consider it's correct to eliminate. The, the rules. And the first. Yes. Okay. Social robots already work in the in the customer service. The customer is is general but is singular. So the customer. Could be correct, say the customer. Um, because, because. 
Um, I have the set the rules are ready. The, the rule mm -hmm. the rules say consumers and they eliminate D mm -hmm. because there was in plural. Mm -hmm. But that is singular, no? Then I think it's correct, say social robots already works in the customer service. Okay. In the second one, the technology. Technology, uh-huh. Technology, uh-huh. But what, what is the rule? I don't know that because in the example it is like that. I I I am reading the the next example. Say the businesses that win. The businesses and here businesses in the number three. But, but if you if you saw the the last example, artificial intelligence sets like is mass noun. I think that applies to to technology because you're not speaking about one technology. I mean, one cell phone. You are speaking like in general of technology. Yes, uh -huh. but businesses is. It's, it's almost the same kind of general work. Uh huh. That that's why I thought. Okay. Business, right? Taking full advantage of the smartphone. What about the smartphone? Smartphone. Gear of technology. Hello, Silvia. Silvia, Silvia. Ah, I don't, no sabía. Silvia, sí, hello, sí. Silvia. No quiero hablar. Okay. Silvia. Did you need? Okay. We have the answer, uh, teacher. Huh? I don't know. We have a, a me. We have the means. We have. We can use the article with the means or no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> and you, Nelson. Okay. Anyways, the miss is here. I think. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Um, checking. Don. Long ago. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I wasn't able to turn on the, the mic, but it's because, you know, this sort of crazy neighbor dolls I have. Uh, anyways, let's check the answers. Social robots work in the customer service. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Everything is correct with the first one? Teacher, for me, it's incorrect. Okay, what is the mistake? What is something that we need to cross out? In customer service. For me, it's incorrect too. In customer service, right? 
For so me, we in customer service. We don't need this yes. blood. Yes. 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 That should be crossed out. Yeah, social robots, it's in plural, right? And we are mentioning for the first time. It's not something that we already have reference, so it's in general, it's in plural. So, okay, social robots already work in customer service, and customer service is something massive. So it's yes. in general, right? That technology exactly. has changed the way that business interact with customers. The first cross, job. cross the fears uh, that technology, technology right? The cost technology, technology is important. Technology. technology is something in general, right? Technology, uh huh, is mass. So it has changed the way that business interact with customers. Yes. Change the way is correct. Yes. Yeah, I of think course. Yes. Yeah, because if you say way the business change way, it makes no sense, right? Because yes. it's something that you're referring probably for the second or third time because we're talking about the different ways technology has changed, has improved, right? So businesses are taking full advantage of the smartphone revolution. Of a smartphone, a smartphone revolution. Of oh, a smartphone revolution. Yes, it's something massive, right? Yes, it's not just one person yes. that has a smartphone. No. So many people have a smartphone. So, exactly. Okay, so business are taking full advantage of a smartphone revolution. Through mobile apps, the retailers send customer real-time information about the products and offers. That's I think in that the you can cross out the vote. The retailers. Uh -huh. Retailer is because it's in, in plural. Yeah, plural. Uh, plural. Retailers and customers customer real time information, information about, about the products, in products, the products and of and offers because yes, products is product. already pluralized and the offers is plural. and the yes. yes. Okay, through mobile apps, retailers and customer real-time information about products and offers. Yes, that's right. The big data analyt analytics is changing how the businesses operate and communicate with customers. Big data analytics is changing how businesses... Big data analytics, right? It's changing how... Businesses operate. How businesses operate and communicate with customers. Definitely, these examples are very obvious, I think, right? <laughs> because oh. it's, something that, it's something that you already read on the explanation. And they are using the same words, but in sentences only, that's all. They continually they gather continue. and analyze the data to improve the experience. This is correct. They continually gather the data to improve the experience. The first that Okay, they continually gather, oh, sorry, gather and analyze data. Yes, because they analyze a lot of information. When we refer to data, we refer to a lot of information that is very massive to improve the experience. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have an assignment. Oh, wow. Aren't you excited? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yes. Choose three national brands or companies. Describe how technology has influenced their businesses. So you're going to bring, obviously, you're not going to create a presentation. Well, you could if you would, but it's not really necessary as long as you bring the information, okay? So according to this, you have to choose three national brands or companies. I know you have mentioned a lot already, like the apps that we use for ordering food, the restaurants or services, you have mentioned the supermarket, you have mentioned like these big retail stores, as uh, Walmart, as the supermarket that we have here that are very, very famous. Well, it's okay. So you can bring something extra for tomorrow. You're going to describe how technology has influenced our businesses, model, and the way in which they interact with con with customers. Then describe how these companies may change. Hold on. I'm going to clear all this. 
Okay, uh, describe how these companies may change due to the technology in the future. How else, what else do you think might happen after all this revolution of the smartphones, of internet access, that now you're able to see their products online, you can see a catalog online. For example, um, probably you haven't noticed or you are not um, a customer of these businesses, but do you remember that there used to be this catalog products that used to sell by catalog, like perfumes, makeup, and now they have their own virtual catalogs as well. But people sometimes want to like rub the paper and smell the perfume <laughs> if they are gonna buy something on the catalog. So that could be an example as well. So try to think about something so that we can share because it says that you're gonna present to the class, present your information to the class. So practically, according to what I heard, tomorrow is the last class. So don't be afraid. Try to bring something so that we can share with the class, something that you demonstrate that you have done your research. Okay, is it clear? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes. right, perfect. Any question? Yes. Tell me. Yes. <laughs> it will clear by the time it's gone. Oh, it's true. It's nine. No, it's ten o five already. But by the way, do you have one on one sessions? Not anymore. No. There used to be. <laughs> there used to happen in this class. No, no worries. It's okay. Okay, don't worry. Relax. Take it easy. Did you go back to work today? Did you go back to work today? Did you go to work yesterday? You didn't rest any day? No. You didn't do any home office? Yes. That, that's... Ah, just, yeah, I nothing. did yesterday. You did home office yesterday? Yeah. Just yesterday, because it was I had to go crazy. to my work yesterday. You had to. Did also, you re on Monday. Did you return early? No, no. At midnight, <laughs> under the rain. Down. Yes. My God. Oh. Ay, it's because you go to the airport, right? Yeah. It's true. It's true. Somebody was coming from the state yesterday, and I was like, "Didn't they cancel the flight?" They said, "No, this is nothing. Nothing." Well, yes. many no, but it, it it was terrible. Many people passed away. Even soldiers, I heard on the news, five soldiers died because of a landslide. Yes. And some other people exactly. were rescued last minute from, ta yes. yeah, from yes. the floods of the river, from the landslides. Yes, it was, it was really, really, really catastrophic, but thank God it's over. All right. Well, it's a pleasure for me to be here. I hope to see you tomorrow, full of energy. Have some chocolates, have some candies. <laughs> okay, energize. Okay, don't let the camera reflect that you're tired. <laughs> All right, trick the cameras. Okay, blessings. Have a good night. Blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.